South Korea is rapidly advancing its missile defense capabilities with the deployment of the MSAM-2 system, also known as Chunging Block 2. This next-generation ballistic missile interceptor is designed to protect against high-speed threats at ranges of up to 50 kilometers, targeting missiles in the terminal phase of their trajectory, when they are moving at extreme speeds and are the most difficult to intercept. Chunging Block 2 represents more than just an upgraded missile, it's a complete rethinking of medium-range air defense. Capable of engaging targets flying at speeds up to Mach 5, or roughly 1.7 km per second, the system can strike at altitudes as high as 40 km. Its role is vital within South Korea's multi-layered national defense architecture, known as KAMD, which integrates short, medium, and long-range systems into a unified shield. At the core of Chunging Block 2 is an advanced radar system based on gallium nitride GON, semiconductor technology. This allows for greater power, higher thermal resistance, and exceptional tracking capability. The active electronically scanned array, or ESA radar, can simultaneously detect, track, and guide interceptors to dozens of incoming threats in real time. A sophisticated liquid cooling system keeps the radar functioning even under extreme heat stress, an essential feature for continuous operation during mass missile attacks and in hot climates. The MSAM-2 operates as a fully integrated, highly automated system. Each battery includes a multifunction radar, a transporter launcher, and a command post, all connected in a seamless digital control loop. Human operators are involved primarily at the strategic decision-making level, with most of the detection, analysis, and engagement process being handled autonomously and at high speed. The interceptor missiles themselves are equipped with active radar homing heads, enabling them to lock onto targets mid-flight without needing continuous guidance from the ground. This dramatically improves the system's resilience under combat conditions and allows it to engage multiple targets simultaneously. Initially developed to replace aging U.S. built Hawk and Patriot missile systems, Chunging Block 2 has become a key asset in South Korea's defense strategy. Since officially entering service in 2022, the system has gained international attention as a powerful and cost-effective alternative to systems like the Patriot Pack 3 